150. These are about 80 cents at the market. But since this is the strip, everything's about uh, double the price. Gracias. Cold coconut. Gracias. All right, mission accomplished. Oh, it just got cloudy. Good coconut. Now I am recharged. Take this off. Talking too loud. Well, lap number two down the Malacone. I usually walk like the entire distance and then walk back again. Usually I don't hold the camera though, they probably stare at you, but whatever. It's easier to do it on a Monday like today because there's less people on Sundays that probably steal your damn phone right out of your hand. This is one of my favorite food vendors. They don't have much food right now, but they make the best yucca. Like, I don't know what they are. Yucca pancakes. Beautiful. I think it's... No, they don't have them out yet. Here's the famous guy that makes sandcastles every day. Oh, here we are at the end of the Malacone where all the vendors are. Going to get my tobacco. All right, mission accomplished. Four Argentinian tobaccos. Now we head to the beach. Oh, we've got some vendors. What do you guys have? Con uh, azúcar, no? Sí, azúcar y chocolate. Oh, no azúcar para mí. Trying to get ready for a competition. This is the Salinas Yacht Club. Volleyball courts. Pretty girls. Not many. Alright, All right. it's about 4 o'clock at the beach. My favorite time to go is between 3 and 4. Perfect weather usually. This is why I wear a backpack. So my bag doesn't catch on fire. But, I mean, the water's right there, so if your bag catches on fire, it's not that much of a problem. All right, we're at Chipipe Beach at 444. Not much action today. Garbage day. Beach is a bit quieter than the other one. Nice little uh, obstacle course set up over there. That looks fun. Maybe I'll take my shoes off and go uh, walk down by the beach. Front camera. Welcome to Chipipe Beach in Salinas, Ecuador on this glorious Monday afternoon with perfect weather. Nice sand. Nice water. Nice people. Good beach. This is a first. I found a hamburger vendor on the beach.
Should I get a hamburger? No. Last time I had a hamburger on the beach, that was in Libertad no, though. I got quite ill because it was filled with breadcrumbs or some damn thing. I just don't use pure meat. All right, here we are on the bus. It's like a dollar fifty a pound at the supermarket. And somehow they put breadcrumbs in it. Easy to walk back home. Oh, I was ill for an hour. Thirty cents. How can you fail at making a hamburger? Pretty comfortable buses. My new house in Salinas. Grocery shopping day. Yum yum. I think I'll try this one first, huh? Aloe vera apple cider vinegar. Then I'll have a martini. All right, I'm at the skate park, two blocks from my house. Just built. Pretty cool. Not many people skate around here, but indoor soccer. Do a kickflip. On some young skateboarders. In years though. Pretty nice. Let's check out this bowl. Not bad for a free skate park in Ecuador. Oh, I didn't know they had uh, table tennis at this park. Isn't that cool? Have you ever seen a cement? Table tennis, ping pong table at a park, and look at this. Oh, pretty cool. Let's see if this works. Nice. Wow, oh, pretty fancy park. back to my house. I think this is the uh, culprit that keeps me awake. I think this is the guy, huh? Maybe I should buy him. <laughs> oh, he's got a baby. So there's the park back there. My house is uh, literally a block away. Oh no, look at I'll buy ya. This is a fire hazard. Gato. A lot of cats around here. There's so much fish. Fish vendors. Yeah. I didn't know my house was only a black boy. I should go to that park. Oh, right Probably shouldn't show the phone number. Once I become a big YouTube star, everyone's going to be calling that number. This is one of the main streets. I 
Actually, I think it is the main street. Um, let's see if I can cross the damn street without getting hit. Okay, we home. <laughs>